Hello everyone, my name is Nick. Today I will read a book called Botic Rescue. Botic Rescue, written by John Zorrell. It's read by Sandy Hill. One cold winter day, a dog walked to the edge of an icy river in Poland. Nobody knows for sure where the dog came from or what he was doing there. But he was about to have a big adventure. Without warning, the ice that the dog was standing on broke away from the land. The dog was swept down the river on a sheet of ice half the size of a of a football field. The frightened dog looked away looked for a way to get back to the shore, but he was trapped on an on the ice. The river was too cold for him to swim to safety. Some firefighters saw the dog drifting down the river as he passed through their city. They tried to help him, but they couldn't reach him. The firefighters could only watch as the ice carried the dog farther down the river. For three days, the dog drifted down the river on his restless ice. He passed through several more towns. At least one other group of people saw him and tried to help him, but they weren't able to reach him either. Each day, the hungry dog grew colder, weaker, and more scared. His ice bath was slowly melting and breaking up into two into hundreds of smaller pieces. By now, the piece he was standing on was not much larger than a small bedroom. If he slipped off, he might become trapped under one of the many chunks of ice around him and drowned. On the fourth day, the dog passed the mouth of the river and was swept down into the Baltic Sea. Baltic Sea. He, tra- he had traveled more than 75 miles, 120 kim- kilometers, from where he began. He was moving farther away from land and any hope of rescue. And had shrunk, the piece of ice he was standing on had shrunk into the sides of a picnic table. The dog was facing a deadly end to his adventure, but his luck was about to change. Some scientists and sailors aboard a research ship named the Botica were passing through the area. They saw an animal moving on the ice in the distance and decided to investigate. At first, the people on the ship thought the animal was a seal. They were amazed. Then when they got closer and saw that the seal has four legs, floppy ears, and a tail. They had found a dog floating on the ice, 15 miles, 24 kilometers from land. The Botica's sailor were able to bring their ship close to the dog. They lowered a net next to the dog, but he was too scared to climb on it on, into it. The dog even slipped and fell into the cold water while they were trying to help him. Luckily, he was able to climb back onto the slippery ice. Fearing that the dog was drowned, the crew lowered a raft. Adam, the ship's mechanic, used the raft to get close to the dog. Adam grabbed the dog by the back of the neck and pulled him into the raft. Once the dog was safe aboard the ship, the crew tried him and wrapped him in blankets. They rubbed him in towels to warm him up. At first, the dog was too weak to stand. He curled up and went to sleep on a blanket. After a good nap, the dog was strong enough to join the crew for breakfast and ate and eat some sausages. Sausages. The crew named the dog. Baltic after the name of the sea where they rescued him. When the shri- once the ship re- returned to port, they took Baltic to a veterinarian. Veterinarian. The vet made sure Baltic hasn't hadn't su- suffered any serious injuries, 
from his icy adventure. The crew also searched for Bojack's owner for several weeks, but couldn't find them. Adam, the sailor who pulled Bojack in the raft, decided to adopt him. Now, Bojack is the mascot of the research ship that found him and travels with the crew everywhere. He has many fans around the world who learn about his incredible journeys and rescue. The president of Poland even wrote a red letter to the crew of the ship, praising them for saving Bojack's life. Bojack started out, out cold, wet and alone, on the ice, but in the boat, warm, dry, and surrounded by new friends. That's all. Thank you for listening.